nice one. Finally, finally. Yes. Oh my goodness. This is great. <laughs> And Chim. You are the only children I have in life. I don't have any other thing I value above two of you. Um, I dreamt of giving you the best in life. But it seems my dream is not coming true. My children, if I say that I expected you to behave differently from the way you have been behaving since you came back with your jump results, then I am an insensitive mother. After all, this is the third time you people are scoring over 300 in your examination, yet we are not telling you children anything different from what we told you in the last two occasions. Please, my children, I really understand you. And me too. After all, Ibe and Okechiku, their secondary schoolmates, are graduates waiting for their NYSC call-up letters. And they're not even academically better than us. Mm, you are in order. Um, I still remember the greatest mistake I did to myself is to drop out of school for Ogene, my brother, to continue. But even as a DG in the Federal Civil Service, he cares only for his family to my detriment. Nani, you still have to go back to him. Uh, Papa, don't. Don't go anywhere. I mean, why should you? What have you to show for the numerous times you've gone to him for help? Except stories of insults. Don't bother yourself, Papa, please. My children, how are we going to raise the money? How? Come to think of it. You are a woke nama de Jumaya. Not to worry, not to worry. We'll go to the university this time around. With your bare hands? No, Mama. We've been saving up, you know, from the, yes. you know, extramural classes we organize for WIKE and JAM candidates, and also the other jobs we've been doing for people. Yes, and, and that could take us through our registration and some other things. Yes. And what happens after that? Papa, don't worry. Don't worry. God is alive. You're the one who says that is the God of the tailless cow that drives away flies yeah. from it. Papa, we are determined. Don't worry. Chima, see, I'm I've finished with my registration and I've gotten my matric number. Are you serious? Let me see. Yeah. Ooh, this is great. What about you now? I'm done as well. I was actually waiting for you. Uh, yes. See, it wasn't that expensive. I'm, we feared it would. Well, uh, Malicha said it's because of our jam score. They're all the same, we thank God. <laughs> that reminds me. He said we should meet him at the administrative block so that he will show us the hostel rooms that the school allocated to us. Uh, okay, let's go now. Baba, we're set. Oh, you're set. Mama. Okay. Ah, okay. Oh, my little shot. Ikechu, campus. I can't wait. Was that? Stop it. Why are you saluting us as if we are military men? I wonder. My brother Chike, don't understand. There's no greater general than educated man. You're on your way to becoming something more than a feed masher. Shut! Hey, KJ, you are right. <clears throat> uh, my children, yes, as you are going to school, I want you to have one thing in mind, and that is focus. Because life without focus is a failure. When you go to school, 
face your study. And again, don't forget the home. I, I, I know I have not been to the university, but people say poverty and riches, good and evil, work and pleasure are in conflict there. Mm -hmm. Many are called, but a few are chosen. I know you like to be the chosen ones. Don't forget home. No, we won't. <clears throat> um, you take this, 10,000 Naira. The man I molded block for paid me yesterday with the little money I saved. <sighs> but thank, Papa, you. thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Nay, thank you. <laughs> My children, this is the much I was able to save. It is 3,000 naira. Add it to 10,000 naira. No, Mama, do not give us fine. Chike, call it for me. And um, my children, this book of law, let it not depart from you. Meditate on it day and night. Let it be a guide to all that you do. And my God, we continue to protect you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Hey, Papa. I know you have been a very good friend to my children. Please continue to be their good guardian angel. Don't let them join courtism or women. No, 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 Papa. They're just like my brothers. I'll take care of them. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Hey, Papa, don't worry, we'll make you proud. Okay, very good. May my God protect and guide you. Amen. Let me see. We are fine. Let's let's just. <laughs> Osi, Osi, what are you doing here? Have you changed your course to study law with Chiki? For what? Uh, I think he's the one making up his mind to change course and study medicine with me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Did you see that in your dream last night? <laughs> Listen, I will be and always remain a brilliant lawyer. lawyer. Thank you. We know. Actually, that's not why I'm here. I actually came so we can link um, Chema up and go for lunch. So what a coincidence because we were actually going for lunch before exactly. we ran into you. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the cafe then. Which cafe? Let's go off camp, man. The food there is tasteless. Let's go off camp, man. You know now? Um, is it OCS? Uh, just a second. Any problem? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. See, Chicken's lifestyle is just too expensive for us to join him. Oh. I mean, in the last three weeks, we've been following him off campus to eat lunch at the rate of 500 naira as against the normal 100 naira food at the cafe. Ah, look, ah, we can't afford such luxury. If, if not, our money will just finish. You're so wise more than ever. We should be prudent in our spending, please. You know, please. Uh, but for now, what do we tell him to make him go away? Uh, just leave that to me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, you see, uh, we wouldn't be able to, you know, go off campus to meet with you. Uh, Why? You see, um, in less than 30 minutes, uh, we'll be having um, lectures. Yes, 30 minutes. Yes. Uh, so if we go that far, you know, we wouldn't uh, make our lecture, you see? So we we'll just manage cafe food for now. Ah. Yes. Okay, now, no problem. Now, let me just run off. Then probably I'll see you after lectures. Ah, uh, exactly. I'll see you after lectures. Yeah, no sweat. You can use one one after. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, all right. Get Tell me what your brain can come up with in seconds. Listen, to survive in this school, you have to be smart. Well, let's go and eat cafe food at the boy. Chicken. Chicken, what are we going to do about our matriculation this weekend? I don't understand. 
We are almost flat on our finances at the moment and can hardly handle the extra expenses that it will entail. What expenses? Papa and Mama are coming um, to school on that day with uh, food for us and our friends. So all we need to do is just take photographs, that's all. You're sounding as if we're going to take the photographs free of charge. Anyhow you look at it, money will be involved and, and that's what I'm worried about. Look, just calm down. Calm down. Through sheer determination and by the grace of God, we have come this far. God cannot bring us here and abandon us now, now. Just calm down. Chike, unless we get extra financial help before that day, I suggest that we limit our expenses on photographs to just 500 naira. Of course, now. We can't afford more than that. Huh. Please, oh, I, I just wanted to latch you now so that we don't go taking too many pictures that we can pay for. Uh, congratulations, my sons. Even though the coast is still far, uh, your mother and I are already feeling that you are the parents of a lawyer and a doctor. Yes, yes. <laughs> papa, papa, papa. You're right. Quad papa. Hey. Getting there is not easy at all. But with perseverance, uh, you will still make it. Amen. Please, as I always say, don't forget your root. Our children, our God will make you even more proud. Amen. Ike Chuku has told us a lot of good things on how we have been coping on campus. Please, my sons, live an exemplary life. And we will continue to pray for you, okay? I'm on my journey. You made me proud. Thank you, my sister. What about me? Hey, you have to pay for that. Now you have to shake it. Hey, mama. This is what your mother and I could save for the past one month and two weeks since you left for school. It is five thousand. Um, <clears throat> pay for the pictures we took and whatever is left is for you till the end of the semester. Thank you for <laughs> <laughs> uh, And um, to my twin babies. Mm. Ha! Mama! <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jimam. Congratulations. 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 Good day, class. Good day, sir. Listen very attentively. This is my seventh lecture of the day. I have been talking since morning, and as you can see, I'm about to lose my voice. I don't want to shout. So, pay attention. Like I was saying last week, on municipal law and international law, major differences. The major difference between municipal law and international law is that municipal law operates within an individual territory or state where such laws has binding effect and is derived from a sovereign legislative authority. For example, the National Assembly. While international law operates within the international realm, does not derive from any legislative authority, and more often than not, lack that binding effect on its subjects. Now, who are the subjects of international law? The major sub subjects of international law are states, other minor entities such as international organizations, multinational corporations, and NGOs also exist. Yes. 
excellent. Who can give us three examples of international law? The three examples of international law are treaties between two or more states, international conventions, and charters of international organizations. And not a brilliant answer. Keep standing. What's your name? Chike Okeke, sir. Good. Keep it up. Thank you, sir. Now, talking about international treaties, we have the Atlantic Charter as one of them. Who can tell us something about the Atlantic Charter? During the Second World War, the leaders of Great Britain and the United States of America met on a warship. And after much... Stop, Chike! Stop. Can't any other person tell us something about this charter? Hmm? Can't any other person answer in this class? All right. Chike will answer no more on that. It is now a term paper topic. A 15 page write up on the Atlantic Charter. Silence! Silence! Submission date Wednesday next week. See you again tomorrow. Good day, class. After being in this school for more than two months as a medical student, you still do this each time we leave the anatomy lab. I don't think I can ever stop that. Mm. Touching and turning those dismembered corpses. Do you know I still feel unclean after washing my hands with disinfectants? Mm. Really? Yeah. Jerry, listen. The first step towards being a very successful doctor is by getting used to things like that. Oh boy, why don't you just realize that as a medical student, they are part of you. This is what we see almost every day when we come to school. Professor and it's time you... <laughs> Professor Jima, I beg, I don't hear. Yeah, uh -huh. remember helping me on that topic? Um... Enzymes and metabolism. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Please, how far? Jerry, tell me, what is it you want me to explain in that topic? I, I think it's a very easy one for one not to understand. Ah, uh, yeah, for gurus like you, no problem. You just have to help me. Oh. I'll feed this test next week. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. You know what? Let's just go to a quiet corner and do it quickly. But it will cost you my lunch. Oh, no problem. No problem. We'll have a deal. Now, so you the talk. <laughs> no for my hand. Sega. Bad song. My CP. Mm. Give your supreme law gist. The lamb. CP. How I wish you were there to see what your man did in Nika. I think it's a me you bet. Another. Kaka 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 kaka. Kaka 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 kaka. I swear to God, it was a heavy, bloody rain of death. Heavy, bloody rain of death. Finally, we Nikal went there. <laughs> oh boy, Bluetooth. Bluetooth without question. Bluetooth for you. Ube. Understand. Am I not communicating? Is Bluetooth? Ube. <laughs> Waiting happen. Sega, oh my God. You know, say, you know, go fit get the, all the assurance for Jesus. Bushman. <laughs> Jewman. <laughs> Alive. Oh my God. Ben Johnson. <laughs> My guy, Black Bullet have arrived. That is what I want to hear. Oh boy, how many antelopes you drop? Let's do what I want here. Tell them, tell them. As we speak right here, nine fucking antelopes. I mean, nine fucking antelopes are lying low in their mortuary fridges. 
Unica as a home is as quiet as a graveyard. <laughs> they believe the Nuna with that loan. Bro, 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 boy scout. That's how we send our message home. When someone fucks with us, we take the word to your doorstep and then we turn your doorstep into a graveyard. We are black bullets. We point and we kill. That's what we do. We point and we kill. Blood must flow and the sea turned red. The motherfuckers got the message real well. See, when that punk from Unicar came here and was running his mouth, what did I do? I kept quiet. But I sent the message home. Now they know that they must not fuck with any member of the Black Bullet. <laughs> hey, Tapo. You know, say, the planning and the execution of the heat put us off from reading our books. And exam this whole next week. Fuck up good day for your guys who don't know if any plan day for us. <laughs> when you joined the Black Bullet, your Supreme Lord promised you something. Yeah. The Supreme Lord promised me success. Whether I judge or not. And what makes you think that promise is still not holding? Oh boy, whether you read or you don't read, that day, go and climb a bib. And if he, it does not matter. There's no man born of a woman, whether it's that it's fucking issue. <laughs> I will fail any member of the black bullet. Hey, 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 Chima, I, I hope you've not finished the gari. Mm -hmm. It's yours. <sighs> now the gari is finished. And we only have 200 naira. How are we going to survive on only 200 naira until after exams? Maybe it's time to start using what we have to get what we want. I don't understand. See, since we came into the school, we've been helping our classmates to explain difficult points in various courses in our departments. Yes. And each day, more and more of them keep coming. And now that our exams are fast approaching, lots of them will depend on us more. Are you trying to say we should collect money from them? The way things stand, yes. That is our only way out. Else, we will be frustrated out of the school. Look, if telling them to pay sounds irresponsible, why don't we start putting the explanations in writing and get the interested ones to buy and read on their own? Hmm? Think about it. This is the fuck guy you're helping out. Just today. that law was going to be this difficult, I would have chosen an easier course. Which course do you think does not have its difficulties? There's nothing we can do about it. We'll have to face it. Yeah, you, you don't understand. I have read all the books recommended, and nothing seems to make any meaning to me. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me. Mine was not easier. But 
When I find out that if I must pass that same paper, I have to get an extra help. So, I'll be getting my own from the guy that is helping me out later in the day. Who? Chico KK, of course, if you must know. Kill! Yeah. yeah, okay, admit, the guy is brilliant, all right, but do you have to stoop as low as to give him your 10 paper to do for you? We are talking about 25 months. Hmm? And the last day of submission is in three days. So, I don't give a damn who is doing it for me. For the fact that he's doing it and that he's doing it well, that is the most important thing. And he's almost doing it for everybody in the class. Um, where is he? Um, I think he should be somewhere around the faculty. Do you want to see him? Do I have any choice? Let's go. them again. Let's go and see him. Come, Come on. Meg, seriously, don't expect me to go there. I don't get it. <laughs> of course, girl, you know who I am. You don't expect me to join the bandwagon that hold around Sandra, Sandra, for Christ's sake, you have to drop this classy thing. What, what? Let's just go there and see him. Do you know, do, do you know his room number? Do you? Yes. Good, we'll go and see him later. Privately. The foregoing are all true of the concept of jurisprudence. However, the Encyclopedia Britannica actually Chicken, describes... just stop, okay? I want you to do me a great favor. What favor? I want you to do it for me. How much would that cost? Um... Um, um five, 500 naira. <laughs> No, but you can still negotiate if, if you think it's quite high. I actually think it's low. I'll give you 3,000 Naira once you're done with this. Take um, 500 Naira for your dinner. Because I, I think a hot brain like yours deserves more. So, see you when you're done. Right. Baby, let's go. Yeah, thank you. Uh, okay. okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Set you down the car, okay? Oh my god, tell me where! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, let me <laughs> what are you doing here? Um, I was with the boys, you know, where I parked my car. And after a while, I didn't see my baby. So I started strolling down. I called and you were around the corner. So I left my car and walked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Teddy looking for Sandy. Do mm -hmm. you know what that makes me feel like? Oh, well, um, let's see now. Like the princess up in the tower <laughs> mid the night. <laughs> so what's up? Fine, so who are your guys uh, there? Uh, the normal crazy bunch. You want to come now? Well, um, I do believe I need some refreshment given the kind of intense, you know, lecture section I had today. Yes, you do. So let's roll. Let me let's help you. go. All you right. want to drive? Are you sure? sure. Okay. 
Hi, what's up? I'm all right. Uh, where are you guys off to? Uh, we're actually going to eat. Yeah. That is a good coincidence. I'm actually on my way to go eat. So why don't you help in? Let's go together. Um, we were actually heading to the school cafeteria. Yes. <laughs> you were, but now I'm here. So we'll roll together. We'll go to La Vie restaurant to eat together. La Vie restaurant? restaurant. Come on, guys. The door is open. Guys! Order. I'll be right back. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Um, is this all you have here? Don't you have anything cheaper? No, this is all. What kind of temptation is this? What? Huh? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm not talking to you. How do you expect us to eat with just 200 naira in a restaurant where the cheapest food is 1,200? Guys, have you made your order? Uh, uh, see, uh, Sandra, the thing is that uh, we're well, we not hungry anymore. Yeah, you yeah. can eat alone. Yeah, we're okay. Um, okay. Um, it's all right. Um, get us um, three plates of fried rice, chicken, and salad, and a bottle of red wine. Okay. Okay. Sandra, no, I, I no, said no. we, are, we are fine. Yes. We are okay. We are, yes, we are come on. Right. I understand you're the guys you have to pay. So, okay. Okay. Jack, hold this one. You can pay when the food comes. It's 5,000. Uh, thank you. <laughs> you guys always talk to each other with eyes. <laughs> You look so ticky wee. Whatever that means. Where's Sandra? She's not around. Where did she go? She went to see one of our classmates to help her explain a difficult topic. Yeah. I want to see her. Can you take me there? Yeah, it's in Hostel A. Just give me a minute, let me change up, then I'll take you there. Okay, I'll wait outside in the car. Is it? Yeah, Ted wants to see you. He's outside. Excuse me, Chiki. Uh, join you. 
Thank you. These things were two of us, you don't you, you, you just be eating it since. But then you were pretending like you didn't need to say the fact, so I would embarrass myself. Huh? So, um, Meg tells me you're studying with this guy? Yep. You forgot you're supposed to go to the club today? Club. Mm -hmm. Ted, the first semester exam is around the corner. Yeah, forget the exam. I'll take care of it. I told you I'll fix it. Let's go and hang out. This is my first exam in this school, and you're telling me to forget it. <laughs> Come on, Ted. You can do better than that. Babes, my friends are waiting for me over there. Come on, get into the car. Let's go. <laughs> Hell no, I am not getting into any car. And of course, I am not going to any club with you. Do you know how long it took me to convince Chike to take me up on this tutorial this evening? I am not going to mess it up. I am not going to any club. Not today. Maybe some other time. You're joking, right? I am not, baby, okay? See you later. Mm. Sandra, come back here. See you tomorrow, Ted. Sandra. Sandra. You see what I'm talking about? There's a thin line. She crosses it. She doesn't know she's playing with a hunter. Sandra, baby, uh, I mean, yeah, you're supposed to come with her. What's the problem? What happened? Come on, talk to me. I'm your man. What's the immunity for state leaders, even as it protects them from unnecessary litigation more often than not, encourages the abuse of office and negates the concept of constitutionality. Now, constitutionality cannot be discussed in isolation from the concept of the rule of law. Immunity limits the concept of the rule of law and therefore is an enemy of constitutionality. Speaking as a politician, one would say it's a necessity, but talking as a lawyer, it's pure and simple. Are the Thank you.
Any question for him for the class? Yes, sir. I must first of all admit that that was a superb exposition on the concept of constitutionality. Chicken. Yes. All of us would appreciate it if you explain the concept of rule of law more. The rule of law, pure and simple, equates equality of all citizens before the law. However, it can also be described as... Yes, and that's it on that aspect of litigation. Okay? So if there's anything you don't understand, please feel free to ask questions. Actually, I understand everything. It's just that... Uh, well, I, I should be going, because in about an hour, I should be going to some party at Orca with Ted. Um, Sandra, I hope you don't mind me talking to you in personal terms. No, go ahead. Look, one can destroy or alter his or her destiny by sheer determination or by lack of it. Living involves more than breathing or moving about. Okay? Seriously, Sandra, I think you should sometimes sit down and have sober reflections. Sober reflections? I don't understand. What, what do you mean? Look, whoever sent you to this school to study law sent you here for a purpose. To succeed here, you have to be useful to yourself. Listen, the successful in life today are those who realize that the future is interwoven with the present. So you have to make good use of your present opportunities. Jack, why don't you just speak to me in plain language? Because I don't understand what you're trying to say. Look, Sandra, sorry if I offend you, but the way you attach so much value to trivial activities to the detriment of your studies is quite unfair to the reason you're here. How do you mean? Okay. For, for the past two weeks now, every time we meet, you keep talking about having fun or, or partying. You know, that, that, that's very unfair. Opportunity, they say, comes only once. And this opportunity also includes you becoming a brilliant lawyer. All, all these things you, you indulge in now will always be there forever. Okay, and trust me, it's better for you to enjoy them when you are a successful lawyer. Thank you. Thank you because this can only come from a true friend. And to friendship, it's a rare commodity, and I thank you for trying to be, you know, a true friend to me. Thank you. Can I drop you off at your hostel? Are you still going to Oka? I don't know. I'll think about it as you advised. So I reflect on it. Let's go. Is everything? Mm. That's 10,500. Um, at least 20,000. Let me just remove 7,000. 7, How much is it? No. Mm -hmm. Nope. guy really spends money on you. Well, you know he's a big boy. <laughs> I know that. But you too, you're not a cheap girl. <laughs> wait, wait, though. 
Why do you have to buy all these provisions again when you still have some unopened ones? Or are you planning to open a provision shop in this room? <laughs> Nothing of that. Actually, I'm planning to give them to Chiki. No, tell me you're joking. No. Come on, girl. You know that he has been helping me academically. Needless to say that my grades has improved. So I've been kind of thinking of a way to make it up. You know, return the favor. Wait. You mean your boyfriend shopped for you and you want to give all those things to Chiki? No. <laughs> Come off it, girl. <laughs> but I don't see anything wrong in that. I mean, the guy, you know, <laughs> makes our time to tutor me. He, he needs these things and he can't afford them. I can afford them. So I'm giving them to him. That's it. I mean, they are bought for me, isn't it? So I'm giving them to him, needless of who bought them. But do you realize that you're not the only one he teaches in that class? And whenever he teaches you, you pay him. So why giving him all this again? I know that. But I also know that I'm the only one that he teaches and advises like a sister. That That's... is something I appreciate. So... But girl, you don't have to do it. Girl, change the subject, okay? You mean... Why don't you tell me about where you're supposed to? We're supposed to go somewhere today, isn't it? Come on, girl. <laughs> Give me a gist. Jack, please. I want you to update me on case citation. I learn to have quiz tomorrow. You learn to have quiz. Now tell me, why would you even understand a single thing about case citation when you don't come for classes? You did not come for lectures today. And look at the way you're dressed to our faculty, Alice. Please, please. I want you to help me. Please. What is it you don't understand about case citation? Everything. Everything. Jack, I'm confused. Please. It's all right. Let's just start with the basics. I just hope you, you know you can really catch up. Just hope. Okay. All right. Um, so, hey, 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 what are you trying to do? Come on, Jack. It won't disturb my concentration. Please, go ahead. Not with that thing in your hand. Come on, Jack. I'm paying you for this. What I do, why you do it, shouldn't bother you at all. Listen, I won't teach you a single thing with that cigarette in your mouth. Jack, stop behaving like a little boy. You're an undergraduate. Ah. And I have my right to making choices. Excuse me. Jesus. Jack! Jack! Yeah, so, um, that's it for jurisdiction. But with regards to company law, you have to understand that. Hi guys. Oh, sorry. Chai, can I talk to you outside? Excuse me. Yes. Chai, can I have your room key, please? My room key, what for? Well, I just want to chill out there. Meg and her friends are in my room making noise, so I just want somewhere to cool off. Why my poor room? Why not Ted's room? Chai, can I have your room keys, please? Okay. Thank you. See you when you get back. Hi, guys. Am I in the right room? I was about to ask. <laughs> of course you are. TV. DVD. Ha. I thought you said you were coming here to relax. Yes, I was. Just 
made it worth relaxing. Don't you like it? Uh, we... See, we might not be able to raise money to pay you back for all this, or... Yes. Eh? I am not saying you guys should, okay? This is within my means to do this, okay? I just did it. But you never told me, you know... Yes, you because I know you will stay in no. Look, look, Chuck. You are more than a friend to me, in your words and deed. And I really like that. This is just my way of showing appreciation. Really, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, thank you. Uh, you okay, like take that to me, you like it. Yes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, babes, you need to drop 100 G's first for membership before you roll in this club. It's big. That's before spending. There are no such places. It's just that that kind of money can be used for something reasonable. Are you speaking to me of something speaking through you? <laughs> Seriously, you know I've been to such big clubs. <laughs> I mean, I haven't spent two weeks at Transcom Hilton, which you know. Well, it's just that lately my view on such things is beginning to change. That's because you've not tripped enough. I mean, this is flossing at its best, I'm telling you, man. Roll with Teddy. I mean, come on, my word, we're king. Huh? Like, check this weekend, for instance. We're going to a good cattle ranch just for the weekend, you know, just. <laughs> come on, Teddy. Our oh, exams is around the corner. We own this school. What do you mean exams around the corner? Look me in the eye and tell me you don't want to go to Budukatu Ranch with me. <laughs> Nay. Ayi. <laughs> no, 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 baby. Baby, seriously. What are your plans for my birthday next week? What kind of question is that? This is Big Teddy you're talking about. We're going to put a truck hold on this campus. People will stand still. I'm telling you, if I don't mind me and my boys are done planning, as a matter of fact, that's going to be your gift. That day, oh yeah, they will know whose baby it is. Well, looking forward to that. Let's just read up a little bit before we call it a night. Listen, babe, look around you. This is a bedroom. <laughs> I know that. If you want to read, where do you go? I'm stuck to the library. Oops, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Come here, you know you want it. Uh, <laughs> I know what you want it. Get your ass. I know what you want it. Oh, okay. Okay. Look at the picture. That's the person who's giving you a problem. You know why you wear that belt? You're a I don't need to wear that belt. Girl, what was this thing you, you were saying about Ted and Chiki in the morning when you were leaving? Nothing really. I was just. um. Comparing two of them, you know, the way they do things. Okay. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah. Chiki is an embodiment of intelligence, mm -hmm. tact, and care. I know that. You need to see the way he shows interest in anything that is positive, you know, anything that will improve you as, as a person. You would think he has a stake in your life. But that, that, that's just him. He cares too much, you know, he's, he's just too Girl. good. Girl, Chiki is good, no doubt. But how does that concern your boyfriend? You know, um, what's, what's, what's this? Um, Gandhi, 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 Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi. Okay. You know what he said about education without character? I know that. That is a blunder of the word, and that describes Ted to a T. Yeah. No, Meg, seriously, lately, his lifestyle is beginning to disturb me. You know, he's everything Chike is not. Girl, did you just listen to yourself? How can you be making comparison between your boyfriend and that poor boy? You better watch it, girl, before you go crazy. 
How do you mean? Can't you see you're beginning to fall for that boy? <laughs> oh my God! Meg, please, the next time you want to insult me, give me an advance notice. How can you even suggest such a thing? How? No, Chike is just a friend. Even if I was as stupid as to suggest such a thing, I am sure he will send me right back home with a trailer load of advice to go with it. Please, Chike is my very good friend, okay? And don't forget, I love that. And that's not just words. I just hope so. I have never heard such a crazy thing from your mouth before. Where did you get that from? <laughs> don't even suggest that again. The way you're sounding. Uh, no, don't, don't stop it. Okay. My God. You better watch it. Watch it. <laughs> Falling for TK, please. Sandra, did you bring the book we discussed about from the library? Oh my god, I... Sorry, I totally forgot because I've been busy running around for... Yeah. I haven't told you. My birthday is in four days. <laughs> and what age is Sandra celebrating this time? <laughs> like, I'm going to tell you that. No, that is totally my little secret. But, you're yeah, invited to the party. So please tell you, man. Come with him, okay? Alright, we'll be there. I have to run now because um, Meg and I are still going to the market to pick up some stuff. Uh, don't forget about the food. <laughs> I will not. Yeah, okay. Bye. Chike. That girl has been so good to us. And, uh, I think this is the perfect time for us to show her how much we appreciate all that she has done for us. That's true. Hmm? So what should we give her? I, I suggest we we give her something worth more than a card. Yes. Why don't we buy her some wine to serve some people that day? I mean, with the money in the account she opened for you, we can afford some bottles. How about that? Yeah, yes, wine is good, but, but, but still, I suggest we give her a gift of a long-lasting nature. You know, something better and much more befitting, you know? Perfumes? Do you have money to buy a perfume? Yes, yes, yes. Alice, 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 Alice. What did you say you are doing with that wretched boy? on campus this morning. I was begging him to help explain something in one of my courses to me. Begging him do what? What does he know? <sighs> Baby girl, that wretched boy you see is an intellectual giant. He is the Aristotle of my class and people even pay him to teach them. In that case, why don't you pay him to teach you and stop fucking up begging him? You are a member of the mama's school and mamas, mamas don't beg. I know. And that is why I'm planning to monopolize the car. And how do you mean? I'm thinking of feeding him with what I feed the big guys to keep him to myself only. <laughs> I mean, making my guy to entice him. You are Look, I'm not gonna give my lecturers all the time to pass their courses. And I don't have the time to read and pass it the normal way either. You know, our roles wouldn't let me do that. So, I grew cheeky like a big boy. Mm -hmm. And he will do my academic work in return. That's my girl! That is the gist. Mm -hmm. I'm not foolish girls. You know I'm a good strategist. Definitely, definitely. Baby, what do you think? Should I change? Nah. 
if she was look good in anything. It's a, babe, tell her she looks good, okay? I knew he was gonna yeah. say that. Jake! Uh, what happened? Did you guys, um, you, you can't find your way to the party venue? Uh, no, uh, we can't go to the party due to personal reasons, but still yeah. we brought you this uh, gift. Oh, thank you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Sandra. Thank you, Chima. Thank you, Chai. Oh, my God. Baby, look what you got for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, your baby, baby, you can't do that right now. Come on, we don't have that kind of time. There are big boys waiting. Come on, bring that. Just because a couple of bombs brought you, you know, some big gifts or something. What's this? Plastic or something? Probably plastic. Look at them. That's all they can afford. I can't believe you keep inviting every kind of bomb to the party. Listen, can you hurry and meet me in the car? Um, we, we just catch up with you in the car. Put it quick on it, okay? Let's meet me outside. Okay. Okay. Honestly, I don't know what to do with that Alice girl. There's no manner of word. I haven't spoken to that girl to make her understand I cannot do what she wants me to do. But still, she won't listen. I don't like that girl at all. And nothing disgusts me like seeing her around you. Hmm. Even as we have decided that until we graduate from this school, we won't go out with any girl. I don't see myself going out with that lousy, rubbish, Indecent girl that, that that's not even fine herself. Oh. Do, do you know she smokes? Good God! Oh. And she wants to be your girlfriend. Can you imagine? Uh, please, 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 please. Uh, chicken, cut every contact you have with her, including teaching her. I've told her that I will not teach her a single thing until she stops smoking. Mm -hmm. And if she continues with this uh, stupid proposal of me being her boyfriend, I'll just disgrace her in class one day. Please do. Uh, anything to drive on your message. We cannot afford to have such rascal around us. Yes. Hmm. She's, she's not even presentable. She wants to just come, here, come to this school and just spoil my future. Where is Sandra? She has gone to read in Chicken's room. Again tonight? I've been here over six times. And you keep telling me the same thing. We have a date outside. What is really going on? Ted, the exams will be starting next week. And Chicken is just helping her out. Oh, please don't give me that crap. Do I look like a child to you? You were in the same class with her. How come he's not teaching you too? Huh? You see, Ted. I don't really know how to tell you this. Aside that, Sandra is my roommate. She's also my best friend. And I like her so much. But I think... There's something to it than she just going there to go and read. What do you mean? I think she's dating the guy. <laughs> that is the joke of the millennium. Cassandra did that thing. Can't you come up with anything better than that? You don't believe me, do you? Do you know that Sandra furnished his room for her? And last week, she took him out for shopping. She changed his entire wardrobe. It's called appreciation. Appreciation? Yeah. Sandra is a big girl. See, so it's no big deal. Besides, I hear he's got nothing going for him. She's just helping out because he's really helped her too. I guess you also know she's not the only one in that class. He also teaches me. Well, I guess you've heard of the ten that were healed. 
and only one went back to show thanks. It's called Appreciation. Read your Bible. <laughs> okay. Jane, how do you explain this? That's everything you bought for her on the last shopping. She gave all to him. And she even told you she was going home last weekend. Do you know that she went with him? How are we even sure that they did not end up in a hotel room? Yeah. I think you should talk to her third. She's your girl, talk to her. Because I know we girls who play pranks with the guys. Hmm? Do you care for anything to drink? I mean, that's water, juice, or wine. What I'm saying in essence is that I don't want you hanging around that boy. Simple. This is a joke, isn't it? You know I don't have a sense of humor. Then I don't get you. I mean, the guy just helps me with my studies, that's all. There's nothing going on between us, okay? That's my reason I don't want you around him. I don't want him studying here with you, in this room or anywhere else. Find another alternative. And this will be you telling me you don't care about how I fare in my studies because you simply don't love me anymore? Stop being childish. Are you telling me you're ready to disobey me because of that thing? No, no, no. Let me, let me even tell you something else you don't know, okay? It's not just about him helping me study. He's like a brother. He, he advises me like a sister. He tells me things that will help me in future, okay? I'm sure you're just upset because I no longer have time to, 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 to party around town with you. I'm your boyfriend. Doesn't that count for something? Oh, boyfriend. Of course, my lovely boyfriend. That had a lovely party for me for a surprise birthday party. And then turn the party into a shooting competition with your friends. Look at what Chike got for me for my birthday. You, what did you get me? Hmm? A shooting competition for a party. That is what I got from you. So it's come to this now. It has come to what? Where you draw comparisons between me and that rat. Hmm? You're coming. You know, babes, this thing you've started. Only you can end it. I don't have to tell you what you're messing with. What did I start? Then it's tomorrow. Um, they all look the same. I don't know which one. It's the one with the square head. No, no, no. Take the, the confused looking one away. That's not the one. I'm this fade, one that thinks he knows it all. Now, fade. Fade! 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 What are you doing with Sandra? No, no, not this out. No, not this out. I was only teaching you out. Teaching what? Brain bust. So we're stupid. We don't think something is happening. I was only teaching you out. Brain bust. You will follow. What are you teaching her for? We've been in this school like six years and we're happy for it. And you're teaching who? Are you the lecturer or the VC or who? Who are you now? No, I'm, I'm nothing. I'm nothing, bros. Let me tell you, from now onwards, I don't want you anywhere close to Sandra. I want you to avoid her like HIV. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, no, I don't think you understand. In the evening, Sandra comes near you. Will you meet her? No, God, God, God forbid. I, I, will, I will never set my eyes on her, sir. So I don't understand. You know, you know we're lecturers, too. Let me teach you our own kind of lecture. 
give him lecture four or two. Uh, no. sir, seriously, I was only studying. She was only coming here to study. Wait, 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 wait. That retarded one back there saying something. What did you say? What did you say? Yes, sir, he's right. Hey, from your bastard. Imagine that retarded one is making noise too. You know what you do? Put him in this boot. Ha! Put me, please, sir. Please, 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 bro, please, no, please, 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 ah, please, 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 Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Just, just aim low. Shoot him! Shoot him for boss or leg. Castrate the bastard straight. They don't even need it. You feel good, huh? Sir, you are dead. Hey, hey, hey! What do you do with him? Come on, let's go! Hey, I don't believe this shit. I do not believe this. Is there no space? Is there no space inside? Yeah. Huh? Okay, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't box. Yeah. Come on, dear. Come on. 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 Come I'll bring you out here and I'll cut your balls out. See, you break the hat on. They had on. For I told this guy is a freak. Yellow pants. There's no place to hide. The ride will be wild. Wild. You can run, but you cannot hide. It's a threat in our society. It has eaten deep into the fabric of society. This dangerous gangs are taking over our lands. They're getting stronger and stronger every day. They just won't go away. They're killing, maiming, and destroying lives. People fear and obey them just to stay alive. They are turning the good guys to bad guys. Cause in the jungle, in the jungle. Survivor for the future. When you in the jungle, brace yourself and get ready for trouble. Trouble. It's gonna get wide, 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 wide. There's no place to hide. There's no place to hide. Wide, wide, so wide. You can run, but you cannot hide. No, 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 no. It's getting so dangerous. Their activities is getting notorious. notorious. Brothers fighting each other. Ooh, trying to kill one another. The battle the line battle is drawn. Their guns are so drawn. So drawn. It's a fight to the finish. Oh, I wonder what they will accomplish. 